Oh, nothing keeps me awake at night, thank God. I'm blessed like that. I'm very lucky like that. But I'm sure it'll, it'll get worse as we get closer to the event. Anything can go wrong. You, and you, you set yourself spectacular ideas to try and execute live. And you're, you will always worry that something technical will go wrong. The biggest worry we have, I think, is weather. And it's always... Yeah. But that's, that's being British. We're going to actually... We're going to have some rain in the stadium, whether it rains or not, because we thought we can't let people leave the, the opening ceremony without having a little bit of rain, even if it's the most beautiful day on earth, which we hope it will be. Um, so weather's the biggest issue because the stage becomes slippy and that affects the performers and things like that. that but then, then there's all technical worries, but we've got a great team of people working on it and trying to anticipate as much as possible. It's a rather beautiful sequence, uh, rather lovely and charming. And it does bring together two of the things that we've announced today, which is the children who will be taking part in the opening ceremony drawn from the, the six horse boroughs. And we've been around auditioning in the schools, which has been fantastic. And um, staff from the nurses and staff from the NHS. And uh, we'll be bringing those two elements together in a, in a lovely routine. I can't tell you exactly what the routine is yet, but it's a lovely story, actually. And that's the other thing. I didn't mention this this morning, is we've tried to put some narrative in the, um, in the evening, some storytelling. And that, again, a bit like, like humour. It's quite difficult in a stadium. They tend to be narrative free zones they tend to be just spectacles you look at spectacles the commentators giving you the narrative on the tally but we wanted narratives to be within the stadium themselves little stories told because we want to do the other thing we want to do is try and generate an emotion and again you don't really get that in stadium shows because they're usually too big to get that intimacy of human beings talking to each other and through stories you generate emotion so it's a bit of wit and a bit of emotion really in those stories we're trying to make sure we don't do lowest common denominator stuff, you know, where you kind of reduce everything because you're worried about such a body won't get that or such a body won't get that. So we will be using language, even though you're encouraged not to in these shows, because, there's, because language is a very a huge part of our culture, obviously in terms of our writers, Shakespeare, who we talked about earlier. And uh, so, that, so we will be using some language. So we won't be reducing everything to make it appeal to everyone. You know, this will be about us and, you know, some pe if some people don't get it, that's fine, you know, that's what we're like.